Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are doing a box battle with 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum Edition. We're going to do three blaster boxes versus one hobby box in here. See which one wins out. Roughly the same cost, as close as you can get, because a hobby box is going to run you anywhere around $100, $105. Uh, the blasters are $29.99 each, so $30 bucks a piece. So three of those is $90. Bucks. Uh, pretty close. Four of them would be like 120, and the hobbies right now aren't going for 120. Last I checked, uh, you could still get them at tops for 99 bucks. So let's see what we can get out of this. Which one is a better buy? Obviously, each hobby box is going to be different. Each blaster box is going to be different. But at least it kind of gives you some uh, idea as to how many parallels you can pull and all that. Generally, uh, the blasters have been uh, two. Uh, parallels per box uh, and autographs falling you know it kind of depends sometimes you can open up a bunch of these and get a bunch of autographs sometimes you can't get any autographs out of the blasters but let's get into it before we do let's hit that thumbs up button uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel if you're new here thanks so much for watching uh, we do a lot of baseball videos we do some football basketball um, PSA reveals, SGC reveals, other sports car related content. So uh, definitely check out the channel, what we have to offer. I've been doing this for a long time, and indeed, my dog decides they want my dog decides she wants to come in and join in. Um, so let's see how this goes um, here. And we got <clears throat> once again three blaster boxes and one hobby, and we'll see if. We can pull anything good out of here. I got two dogs in here. One has to escape. There we go. And <clears throat> the other one can stay. All right. Got two Australian Shepherds in the house. And one is a puppy. Um, we got, here's a, for a first parallel, Al Lopez is the yellow Ray Wave. That's going to be numbered to 250. And then we have a Brian De La Cruz and then a nice C.J. Abrams rookie prism. Remember, this is 2022, um, so you're going to get the rookies like C.J. Abrams, um, Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, and so forth, Spencer Strider. All those guys are in here. Let's see what else we can find in blaster box number one. Willie Stargell is our blue prism. So the prisms are exclusive to... The blaster boxes, so you won't be getting those out of your hobby box. So that's a, you know, one thing to keep in mind. You're going to get three exclusive prisms per blaster box, zero in a hobby. So take that into consideration. Looks like we have a refractor. No, it's just a regular Chipper Jones. There's a refractor, Bobby Dahlbeck refractor. Um, yeah. Anyways, going back to my dogs, I got two Australian Shepherds, a boy and a girl. The little boy is. Um, uh, almost a year old and so he's um, just a young pup full of energy lots of fun but um, uh, the older dog is seven and she has been in many videos underneath the card table and uh, once in a while they like to make a little ruckus when I'm making videos but generally speaking they've been pretty well behaved overall all right, here's Joe Musgrove, and oh, that's a nice one. Julio Rodriguez Prism. All right, take that. So this box is fairly solid. Let's see if we can get another um, <clears throat> top rookie, and there's another color. So here's green and Scott Rowland green. Scott Rowland green on the reds. I think of them as Phillies, but um, hey. There we go. Numbered seven of ninety-nine. This is that twall. If that's how you say it. Um, a parallel with the little batters up there, pitchers, whatever of feel, the baseball players. Uh, it's a sweet-looking parallel. I do like it. I do wish they could have named it something different, some French name that nobody knows how to pronounce. Uh, it's kind of weird, but hey, maybe tops is grasping at straws at that one. There's a goose gossage refractor. And last pack of Blaster Box number one. That's a pretty strong start. Uh, that Julio is definitely a nice one. Once again, you can't get that in a... Uh, there's a Tony Gwen. That's nice. And a 
uh, Albert Pujols. Sorry, I'm a big Tony Gwynn collector. You're probably saying, why is he saying that's nice? Because it's just a base card. I don't know, but I like Tony Gwynn. Uh, so pretty good start to our blaster boxes. Let's see what we get out of number two here. Yeah, so it's not going to be comparing apples to apples at all, but price point wise, it's pretty darn close. Um, you can get these, or you could get these, on Card Giants for twenty-four bucks uh, per. If you ordered, you had to order enough. If you use the coupon, I think you had to give over two hundred dollars worth. Um, and I got some of those coming in from there. These I got from Luke uh, from his card shop. He was able to get a bunch of blasters. They've been going, uh, selling really well at his card shop because they're affordable and they're a ton of fun. If you rip these, you know, uh, you can get some nice stuff for 30 bucks. All right, here's a Robin Yow, and that's just a regular one, um, but it's just flipped over. There's a nice one, Willie Mays, Blue Prism. There's Robin Yow. Uh, you get eight packs in each one of these blaster boxes, so for 30 bucks, it's a fun rip, and the amount of hits that come out of here is pretty darn good. All right, there is a David Peralta refractor. Let me know in the comments below, have you opened up blaster boxes of these? Have you opened up hobbies, lights? What's been your favorite so far? This is the most freaky card in the entire set. The Roger Maris looking out the whites of his eyes. I don't know what look that is, but it's... Uh, uh, they, they took too much liberty in the graphic arts department on that one, in my opinion, but... Uh, maybe, maybe that's just me. So, so far, no parallels in Blaster Box number two, but I think we have one in here. You can see a thick card. It could be an autograph. Here's an Eddie Murray, Catfish Hunter. Let's go to the back. There's our Prism, Cody Bellinger. And let's just flip this around. Yep, that is a parallel. Xander Bogarts and, oh, nice. Nolan Ryan, Speckle. That's a decent one. His stuff sells very well. Uh, to 150, I mean, it's not not a hundred dollar card by any stretch of the imagination, but might that might pay for half your blaster back, maybe, um, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Um, Jose Altuve, and on the other side we have Jazz Chisholm, Drew Ellis, and last but not least Jake Cousins. All right, so pretty solid so far with the blasters. I have opened up a few hobbies and. The hobbies can definitely have some low number hits in. There's a nice Jim Palmer refractor. This one, I don't know, the old Hall of Famers, they tend to take more liberty on uh, the, the look of their face. I don't know. They look, he looks kind of plasticky there, um, Jim Palmer. All right. Uh, last but not least out of this box, we do have another parallel of sorts here. Lucas Giolito. In the back, Mr. Tim Raines. He just looks like a guy you wouldn't want to mess around with. All right. And is this an autograph? Ah, oh, sweet. Ozzy Elby's autograph. That is pretty awesome. All right. We'll take that out of a blaster. Um, I think I may have pulled an Ozzy Elby's autograph before, but not one that's real regular. Uh, that I've pulled uh, so that's pretty cool and the Braves are playing well so that is not bad at all one autograph uh, a Nolan Ryan speckle uh, yeah so they did sell out of these on card giant and I'm having a feeling that they're gonna sell out of these a lot of places not because every box you open is just you know instant money in your pocket but it's fun, and you do get a chance at some nice autographs. And I did see somebody pull a Mike Trout redemption out of uh, one of the blasters they opened. So not bad at all for a, a retail product for 30 bucks. Here is a Josh Winder, Josh Winder, however you say his name. Um, that's going to be the Aqua Lava number to 299. George Kirby rookie and a Seth Beer prism. All right, so the aqua lava there, not the biggest name. This video is going to be a little bit longer, but we won't try to extend the video any longer than we have to. Oh, shoot, wrong rookie. Eli Morgan, but hey, Blue Prism rookie, better than nothing, I guess. There's Joe Morgan um, with a big red machine, Joe Morgan. Andrew Jones, we have 
J.P. Crawford, Mike Trout, and Whitey Herzog Refractor. All right, and by the way, if you're looking for the name Refractor, it is right up there in case you're wondering if you have refractors. And if you're looking for short prints, I'll show you the code on the back for the short print. Down at the very bottom here, you'll see it says 4218. That is the regular one. The short print, which this Babe Ruth is in the back here, if I can get him out. Babe Ruth, come on out. Don't hide. Um, if you can see that there, it's 4251. So the 4251 is the code you're looking for for a short print. And there is a checklist up on um, a Beckett. And I believe there's a nice Chipper Jones. This is going to be numbered, a blue speckled to 199. So another nice parallel there. Juan Gon, base, and Hunter Renfro. Uh, they do have a checklist up for the short print image variations. I believe Cardboard Connections, and I bet you Beckett has one as well. Um, Daryl Strawberry, uh, Joey Bart, and Walker Bueller followed up by, oh nice, Ted Williams Prism. All right, I did pull a Ted Williams short print as well. So they are fair, pretty tough to pull. Um, I don't even know. I, somebody asked, can you pull them in blaster boxes? I believe you can. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So drop a comment below. Can you pull short print image variations out of blasters? I thought you could, but maybe you cannot. Uh, Christian Yelich, Refractor. And Dave Stewart and Joe Prez. I pulled a lot of Dave Stewart parallels. So if you are <laughs> a Dave Stewart super collector, definitely him yet is this another color or maybe we did did we get three colored parallels out of that one? Oh, nice steven kwan that's pretty sweet a fuchsia steven kwan atomic it's not red they actually the checklist says it's a fuchsia fuchsia it's uh, a pink the reds are number to five and so that is pretty sweet all right all in all the blaster boxes were solid we got uh from the blasters, before we get into the hobby, just do a little recap here of the blasters. We got Ozzy LB's autograph. We got uh, Stephen Kwan uh, parallel. We got a prism of Williams um, and uh, this aqua lava. We got the Nolan Ryan speckle. Uh, we got this green Scott or Roland. Uh, we got the Julio Rodriguez Prism, which you can only pull out of blasters, the Willie Stargell Blue, the C.J. Abrams Prism, and the L. Lopez. So all in all, we did pretty well there. Um, yeah, we got yeah Chipper Jones. Yeah, that, was, that last blaster was good. Um, I'd say overall pretty good. Let's open up this one here, the Hobby Box. This is directly from Topps. Um, I opened up two other ones off camera. Did really well out of one. The second one not so great let's see why there we go get in focus here camera um so they are kind of the hobby boxes the autographs are usually pretty tough but uh, the it seems like you can pull a lot of nice numbered short prints out of hobby compared to other configurations let's see if we can do so out of this one i've seen a lot of orange and golds come out of hobby not so much out of retail and light boxes uh, there is yogi Berra. the short prints are usually flipped over and the images are different once again if you haven't yet already please hit that like button greatly appreciate it, it helps out the channel tremendously and so thanks so much for watching our channel if you are a regular watcher. That Burt Bly 11 is a refractor. Let's see what is in this pack. You obviously are going to get some base packs out of the hobby boxes. They're not all loaded with color. And you don't get the prisms, um, but you do get a guaranteed autograph. So let's see what we have here. Here is our first one. A nice Josh Bell. He's having a good year uh, with the uh, Marlins to number 75. So this is the speckled rose gold. The rose golds are all numbered to 75. And there's different variations of those. There is a Luis Garcia. I got to get my stack up here. Kybert Ruiz and a Chipper Jones. 
So it's a 500 card base set. I am going to try to put together multiple sets um, if that's even possible, but at least a few. Um, I'm sure they'll sell fairly well. There's a refractor uh, because it is going to be pretty tough to put them together. And I don't know how many people are actually going to be putting them together just because it is 500 cards. You know, are you going to buy tons of product? How easy is it to put together? That'll be interesting. There's an A Rod, Kyle Lewis, and Ronnie Dawson. All right, so far we've only hit one colored parallel out of this first stack. This could be, oh, this is another one here. Ooh, nice, Sander Bogarts. This is going to be the fuchsia again. And that's that, uh, this is the atomic twall, I believe it's called. A nice Stephen Kwan rookie and a Nick Madrigal. All right, so two colors out of that first stack. You get uh, 24 packs out of a hobby box. There's a nice Shohei Otani and a Will Clark. Right, is it 24 packs? Let me double check that. It is, yeah, 24 packs. I just had to make sure. The light boxes are 16, and I was second guessing myself there. I didn't want to let anybody down with the incorrect information. There is a Curve and Castro refractor, Andre Dawson, the Hawk, Aaron Nola. Yeah, have you guys been enjoying this set? I sure have. It's a lot of fun. I do love the sets that have the retired players, the Hall of Famers, and the current rookies. It's, I just find it's a lot more interesting in some level. I know there's no um, inserts in here, which can make it a little bit dull for some people. But let's see. There's a Bernie Williams, and we do have a Gold Wave rookie Jake Myers. So there's our Bernie Williams gold wave rookie Jake Myers. So a lot of the hobby boxes will have gold in them or orange uh, blacks and uh, you know there just seems like there's a higher well that was weird three cards and look at that a Rod Carew blue Autograph. Holy cow, I didn't even see it was auto at first. I was just thrown off by the lack of cards in the pack. <laughs> Boom, out comes Rod Carew, a number to 99. Look at his autograph. His signature is interesting looking. Um, that is a sweet looking card. All right, I like that. That's not a bad autograph to get, Rod Carew. One of the craziest batting stances you'll see. Go look up Rod Carew um, videos, and you, if you're a young uh, collector and haven't seen Rod Carew uh, bat as a refractor of uh, Tony La Russa, uh, definitely go check out those videos. Uh, really sweet batting stance. I love how he would stand in the batter's box. All right, uh, Herman Marquez. There he is, Alan Trammell, Trammell Tiger legend. And behind that, we have a Cabrian Hayes. All right, so that was interesting. A three-card pack with the autograph staring right in my face. I didn't even realize it was an auto because I was looking down at the other pack that I threw on the ground, making sure I didn't miss a card. All right, let's see who is in here. We have another Fuchsia. This is a Kyle Hendricks Fuchsia. That's going to be numbered to a 100. The Fuchsias are all numbered to 100, and that's another one of those twall. But you can see the... Um, background there of the players pretty sweet um, I do like the look of that especially up close there's the other cards in that pack all right let's get this camera back and forth focus here thanks again for staying and watching if you've watched the whole video definitely let me know below here's our one per box X fractor Phil Rizzuto if you do say you've watched the whole video I'll definitely put a star by your name in the comments that's uh, tradition here on the channel um uh, yeah it's it's cheesy but it's kind of fun all right jose barrios refractor and dansby swanson fergie jenkins all right all in all i would say this is going to be a tight battle um overall miguel cabrera matt veerling and tommy lasorda now in the past i'd say you'd 
you know, buy more hobby. Uh, but now with, it, now with this product, it's kind of a toss up almost, which, which is kind of cool that you can spend the same amount of money on either one and still do rather well. Let's see what this is. That's a Steven Writings uh, Aqua Lava number to 299. All right. Uh, they do have SSP employee, Tops employee short print cards. So those have got to be selling for a fair amount. If anything, the Tops employees are buying them. Early win and Raphael Devers. So early win is definitely not a short print, but you might as well check. Uh, I think most of the short print variations are um, Hall of Famers, I believe. All right, there is Eric Davis, and we have a refractor of Adam Wainwright, Matt Olson, and Connor Wong. All right, two more packs to go. Should have another numbered card, I believe, in here, but no guarantee of that. Zach Granke. Uh, Manny Ramirez, Reggie Jackson, and Ryan Mountcastle. All right, last pack of the Hobby Box. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a thick card in here. All right, let's see who we get. Let's see if it's a low numbered. Um, there is a Robin Roberts. And we have a Sammy Long. Let's see who this is. There he is, Bill Buckner. Uh, with that color match there to 199 this is going to be another twall if you say it that way i'm sure that's not the correct french french pronunciation but here's a look at what you get for your base cards it's pretty much an equal stack uh, to the right you have the blaster box uh, stack of base and to the left is the hobby box and here are all the hobby box highlights. And we have the Bill Buckner numbered uh, refractor, uh, the Aqua, another refractor, the X Fractor, one per box, and a Fuchsia. We have a Gold, and we have a refractor, Xander Bogarts, Fuchsia, Starling Marte, a, a Speckle, number two, one, or 75. Oops, that's a Rose Gold. And then the autograph of Rod Carew, numbered 299. Boy, I'm going to say it's a toss-up. I'd say probably the Blaster Boxes one. Um, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. I pulled some nice stuff out of those blasters. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, definitely put... Uh, a comment down below letting me know. I love doing these. They're fun for me to see what comes out in the retail versus hobby. So we do these from time to time when it's affordable to do. And this is definitely one of those products that is affordable to do this on. So thanks for watching. Please, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next one.